Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. So today we are talking winter EDC. Uh, in the summertime, uh, you know, shorts, t-shirts are what's worn. So the gear ends up being a little lighter, a little smaller, more minimal. Um, at least for me, that is. I, I tend to carry gear that kind of works with what I'm wearing. And in the summer, it lends itself towards, you know, a more lightweight carry. Uh, and if you see my videos, you know my love of gear and knives. So my lightweight very carry might still be way heavier than yours um, or your, your standard carry. I love blades. I love knives. I love having them on me. And uh, so I carry them and I carry quite a few normally. Um, but come winter time, all of a sudden, you know, flannels are being worn, pants are worn, more pockets, bigger pockets, jackets come into play or hoodies. And so the, um, the, uh, clothes that I'm wearing allow me to wear, uh, more gear and heavier gear. And so I do. So that's what this is. What is my winter carry? Um, so we'll start out with pens because those don't really change. I always EDC a pen. Uh, majority of the time, I have one in a pocket. Um, I also belt pouch carry. I will, I will have a, a pouch on my belt of some variety. And uh, I think just about every belt pouch I have, regardless of what kind, uh, I keep a pen in there. So I, I always have a pen on a belt pouch, normally in my pocket as well. And uh, Recently, I've gone towards, uh, this is the Precise uh, V5 by Pilot. This is my favorite ink refill. If I have a fancy pen that takes refills, I'm putting in a Pilot V5 uh, Precise roll Rollerball every single time. So, I was like, why don't I just buy the actual pens? They're cheap. They come in boxes of, you know, 12, 10, whatever. Uh, and they're super cheap. And when it, it uh, is out of ink, you toss it. Or if I hand it to someone and I don't get it back or I leave it somewhere, no big deal. So this is carried frequently, as is the uh, Uniball, uh, also a Rollerball. I, I definitely prefer Rollerballs to gels, just my jam. And that is in the blue coloration. This is in black. So uh, got two pins there that are frequently carried and, you know, cost a, a buck or two a pen when you break it down. So no problem there. Uh, and then sometimes I will get a little fancier. This is an Everyman Grafton pen. I have several of these in different colors. And uh, inside of here is the Precise V5 uh, Pilot refill. So this writes like the Pilot V5 and that is the blue coloration for the ink right there. So uh, just some, some pen options. You will normally, like I said, see one on me. Uh, and definitely one in my pouch, if not in my pocket. And I think pens are good. You know, you're, you're writing stuff down, jotting stuff down, making a note, signing something, whatever the case, pens come in handy. And uh, I rarely have to ask for one, but often lend one out. So those are pens. Um, Multi-tools, you guys know I love multi-tools. Um, I, uh, I frequently EDC the Leatherman Surge. Cause that is, that is just my jam. This is, this is one of my favorite multi-tools of all time, if not the favorite multi-tool of all time. And with this really sleek Kydex holster I have here, uh, I can pop this on my belt and I'm ready to rock and roll with this, regardless of what else I have on. And uh, with the, uh, the, you know, the flannels, hoodies, jackets, really easy to hide this. When I wear this and I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, you know, the, I'm wearing it on my side. The t-shirt's falling, you know, right here, not over top of it. And so, you know, I have a surge. I don't care. It is what it is, but definitely uh, more concealable with the, the uh, warmer weather or cooler weather clothes. So you will almost always see me with a surge either in the Kydex sheath on my hip, uh, in, a, in a different sheath with some more gear with it, or in the belt pouch if it can handle it. Um, but if for some reason I'm not carrying the Surge, you will see me with a Leatherman Skeletool this time of year. Uh, I will carry like Victorinoxes and things like that in addition to, but 
unless there's a really good reason or my clothing doesn't allow it, I'm gonna have a full-size multi-tool in the winter because I can. And they do come in handy. And so the, the Skeletool is a classic. This is the, uh, this is the standard uh, Skeletool, but it does have that topo blade uh, and it's the blackout design. So very cool Skeletool right here. Get you a little better view of that. I uh, love the Skeletool, great tool, love the Surge. One of these will almost always be on me. Um, I carry earbuds, I EDC those. They come in handy for a lot of different things, phone calls, podcasts, audio books, you know, the list, YouTube videos, list goes on and on. Uh, skull candies will oftentimes be, uh, actually, this is, this is where it differs in the winter. So I, uh, I keep my pixel buds on me. These are always uh, in, my, in my pants. But come winter time, I have like one or two jackets that I favor. And I have some of these Skull Candy dimes. They run between 10 and 20 bucks. And uh, I have a few of these. And so these will actually be left in jacket pockets, in my go-to jackets. So if for some reason I don't have my pixel buds on me or they die on me, if I'm wearing the right jacket, I'm gonna have a pair of skull candies in that pocket ready to rock and roll and be used. And I just kind of check them every once in a while, make sure they're topped off with the charge. But uh, they're, they're light, they're lightweight, they're very small and compact. They work wonderfully, sync right up with my phone and they're not expensive. So during the winter time uh, and jacket seasons, these are living in, in my jackets, a couple of them. So sometimes I'm carrying two uh, earbuds, which is not a problem for me. I'd rather have them than not. All right, flashlights do change. Uh, I, uh, I frequently carry um, you know, more pocket-friendly flashlights and my larger flashlight, like the Olight Warrior Mini 2, is relegated to like a leather belt pouch. Um, so I still carry it in the summer and with shorts, but it's on a belt pouch, not in pocket. This time of year, I don't care. Belt pouch, pocket, pants pocket, jacket pocket, whatever. So this is frequently carried. And I do that for two reasons. One, I have the ability to carry a larger flashlight. And two, it's dark so much. Like it gets, it starts getting dark around four or five. And then it's, it's dark from like 5.30 on until, you know, 6 37 in the morning it's dark so i'm using it a lot lot more and lots of lamb back here got a dog uh so if he if he gets out wanting to find him you know, wanting to find some uh bunnies or something running around in the back you know whatever the case it is flashlight will do the trick and the olight warrior mini 2 is a fabulous one and uh there it is right there olight warrior mini two probably not going to focus in and the white coloration so if it does happen to snow and i drop this good luck finding it uh but we don't often see snow down here so not a problem the other flashlight that will actually see pocket carry in the winter time because the clothing allows it especially if we're out you know like walking at night or running around on the property or the little man needs to get some energy out and it's you know 5 30 or so and we need to let him run uh, this flashlight will, will oftentimes find its way to my jacket or my pants. This is the WildTac BSS V4 Black Scout Survival Edition. And that's his, uh, his logo right there. Um, this is a rechargeable flashlight, as is the Olight. Uh, it has a tons, of tons of different modes and lightings, has a lot of output. Um, they actually have WildTac no longer has them. I don't know if WildTac is a thing anymore but uh, Through Night has the BSS V4, and there's now a V5, which I'm hoping I get around Christmas time. So hopefully I can do a new review on the uh, Black Scout Survival version five. Has a little more lumens, probably some more features, but um, you have the side switch here for your standard, um, for your standard modes to cycle through, and you have your tactical switch that pops it immediately into the turbo mode. Now, this light has a few features that are very cool. So here we have a red lens and you can twist this so that the bezel in here is threaded and this is threaded. So you can actually uh, twist that together and now you have a red light. And then the other feature it has is it has what I call the crown. It looks like a uh, looks like a crown and this also threads on and so now you have your 
tactical stabby device. So, um, very cool flashlight, a lot of features there. Uh, the red lens will sometimes be on if we're, if we're playing with it at night outside, um, but very cool features to have. And this is the light that when I travel, it comes with me along with its two accessories. So pretty cool flashlight. It is a larger flashlight as you can tell, but it packs the lumens to support it. And because of that, uh, in the winter time, this will be EDC'd by me. Uh, it does stick out of the uh, pocket. Um, you know, this is all, this is all gonna be sticking out of your pocket because of where the pocket clip is. So there is that. Um, but oftentimes I'll throw this in if I have like a zippered jacket pocket, I'll toss it in the pocket and zip it up. So then I'm ready to rock and roll when I need it. Knives. Wintertime, uh, I carry uh, bigger knives again, cause I can, size allows it. And so I, I double up because I'm carrying a bigger knife, not always, you know, appropriate or it does kind of gain some eyebrows being raised when you when you bust out a big knife in public. So I carry smaller knives with me to compensate. Uh, sometimes that'll be something as simple as like a Swiss Army Knife Classic or Victorinox Cadet, something along those lines, a little small multi-tool. Uh, even the Tinker or Compact, I'll use that as my, as my you know, small people-friendly blade. Um, but I'll also go with something like the uh, Kershaw Scallion here. Uh, this one is, it's locked right now. This one is uh, Kershaw Speed Safe. Little small blade, no one's gonna bat an eye at that being used. It's a red, it's funky, it's fun. It doesn't scream scary. Uh, and it does have the little tab lock here. I find that it often does lock on me when it's in pocket. So I've just gotten to the habit of when I grab this knife to open it, I just see if the lock is engaged and just slide it open. Cause when that lock's engaged, this thing's not coming out. Try that again, I actually pushed it. There we go. When the lock is engaged, which it is now, this thing is, it's not coming out, but you slide it with that ring finger, pop it right open. So good, good little knife, cute, fun. No one's gonna be scared of that. I also might throw in something like the uh, Civivi Elementum, great blade, slim and sleek, got the micarta handles on this one in brown. And again, not too many people are gonna be second looking at that knife. Um, on person today, I am rocking the, uh, Zancudu. Uh, so again, you know, knives that are in that three inch range or less, no one's gonna, gonna, you know, look at you twice for having it and it gets a job done for what you need. And it allows me to carry a really cool knife for when I can bust it out. Like my zero tolerance, zero three fifty. Love this knife. That is a big beefy guy. Very cool knife, stout, gonna handle whatever task you put at it. And that tiger stripe blade is incredible. This is frequently carried in the winter time, as well as my, uh, see if I can bust out the Spidey drop here. The uh, Spyderco Manix 2, another one that I use a lot. Big knife again, you know, uh, wide blade. Just a great knife, cool looking handle. Love that handle there. Got the little uh, lanyard hole back here that I'm not utilizing, but a knife that, and this one weight wise, definitely a summer summer lightweight carry knife for me. Size wise, that's a big, big knife. So uh, doesn't often see a ton of carry in the summer, but winter time, I'm frequently carrying something along these lines. So I love that, love the ability to carry my larger knives but that's not where the knife game stops, guys. I will frequently carry a fixed blade knife and I carry it, uh, see if we can. So I carry it kind of right here to the left of my belt and it's gonna sit like that. So I can just grab the knife and pull it out. And uh, one of the knives I go for is this small sog right here. This is not a frequent carry, um, but I will sometimes, and it has the three finger holes. So you kind of ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger, and you know, this would be clipped onto my belt. You just give it a little push with your thumb, slides right out. You got a little small blade there, um, but fixed blade nonetheless, all stainless steel construction. It is a fairly comfortable knife, but it's just a, it's a weird design in general of, of the, the uh, way you, you grip it. Not the most comfortable ever. Um, so normally what I will be belt carrying 
is my CRKT Minimalist, and that's in the uh, black and green handle. I do have the little lanyard on there to add a little extra purchase on the knife. And uh, again, you know, this will be clipped to my belt and I will get my my ring finger or my pointer finger right behind that choil, lay the other hands in, take the thumb and kick the blade out. So this is a more frequent carry fixed blade knife for me. I love it, it's small, it's great, very slicey, like super, super slicey, cuts through tape and letters like nothing. So uh, fixed blade knives, it's what, it's what I carry. And I do have some larger ones, like every once in a while, I will carry like a, um, my Azula, uh, SE Azula, and I will, um, I will put that uh, in like a hoodie pocket or something, because it is a little bit bigger than I can carry uh, on my belt without people knowing I'm carrying it. But so that's that's kind of my jam with uh, with winter time. I will also uh, on on my in my belt pouch. I will have a uh, one hand warmer ready to rock and roll. And if I'm not carrying a belt pouch that day, I will slip one in my pocket. Chapstick. It's, if it's not my belt pouch, it's in my pocket because those things are needed this time of year. Um, I'm trying to think. Like most of my other EDC gear is in the belt pouch. And if for some reason I'm not carrying a belt pouch, some of those items I will slip in pocket. This is the majority of the gear I'm carrying. I'm loading up more on knives and multi-tools because I can. I like my gear and I have the ability to carry it with the clothing I'm wearing in winter. So I do. I mean, I, do I need a small knife with a big knife with a fixed blade knife and a full-size multi-tool? No, definitely overkill. Am I going to carry all four at one time? Absolutely, because I can. So guys, let me know your winter carry. What do you carry in the winter time? Comment that below. Is there one particular item that you can't wait for winter to come so you can bust it out? For me, it's the fixed blades. I don't often carry fixed blades with shorts. I absolutely could, I just don't. For me, these are a pant item and they're, they're more an item that I don't even wear unless I have like a like a hoodie or a jacket covering it up, uh, some larger, like if I'm just wearing a t-shirt and pants, still probably not wearing a fixed blade. So that's definitely a cooler weather item for me. So do you have something like that, that, that you uh, use during the winter or when the clothing is appropriate for it? Uh, let me know down below. Guys, I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you did both. Uh, definitely comment below, get a conversation going, and I'll be back with a new video soon. So take care and remember, EDC, EDC.